Let's do the, our top five beauty and body tips when you're going through cancer. My top tip was definitely, talked about it earlier on, getting my eyebrows microbladed, which is yeah. the, the semi-permanent makeup tattooing thing before I started chemotherapy. If, if you have got time to do it, if your oncologist will allow it, you might have to get a letter. Yeah. That was a really big thing because it helped. I'm rubbish at putting on makeup and it helped yeah. me know where to colour in my eyebrows. Yeah, and it just makes you look like you recognise the face in the mirror rather than like vacant, like a free of hair face. But yeah, as you said, you make sure you have to do it before you start chemo and you and you have to make sure you get signed off by the oncologist. But do it before, not during. Yeah, do not you, do it during if chemo. You can, if you can get it done, it's worth mm. doing. Uh, so that's, that's one. Uh, for me, it would be never underestimate the power of um, lipstick or a nice shave <laughs> um, or, you know, getting a manicure. And I mean, boys and girls here. Yeah. Um, you know, never underestimate the power of kind of looking after yourself. Mm -hmm. um, people might say it's not important. Actually, you know what? Sometimes it just lifts your mood um, and, um, you know, roll with it, really. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, because this is it's not it's not just talking about women's beauty tips. If you're a man as well, just, yeah, you know, a bit of grooming, sticking on some nice clothes and just, yeah, feeling feeling good about about yourself for a yeah, while. Yeah, it does. It does really help. Looking uh, good does make you feel better. Look good to feel good, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think definitely staying active. So, um, you know, you don't have to be a gym bunny, but like like you said, like I wasn't really feeling the yoga thing. I wasn't able to do a lot of exercise. Some people are, but like just getting out of the house, moving those joints, um, it just makes you feel more alive, more human. Fresh air is a fresh cure air is so much. Yeah. So getting that fresh air on your skin and in your lungs is always a good thing. Yeah. Um, I found the the nail painting thing, thring, thring. The nail painting thing thring. through thring. chemotherapy. So you know, if you're on one of the Taxol chemotherapies, um, paint your nails with a with a dark nail polish. It saved mine. I don't know if there's any science yeah. behind it, but you know, it's just yeah, nice mine weren't to too bad. Done, and if you it? are going to get gel nails done, just be mindful of what you're getting done. Try and get ones that are a bit kinder to the nail that are easier to come off because you'd want them removed. Don't be picking them off yourself because your nails will flake. Don't want to be taking your nail with it. Yeah. And uh, number five. Finally, for me, um, scars. So you will have scars. You might surprise yourself or you might be surprised by the fact that um, cancer does give you scars if you if you undergo operations. Yeah, generally that's the number one way to cure it is Ooh, cut it yeah, out, isn't cut it? Cut it out and be grateful that you've been, you know, that you can have an operation to cut it out. Yeah. Um, but don't assume that you're going to just be absolutely fine with your, your body um, afterwards. And it will take a long time. I'm quite a confident person and I was surprised at how long it took me to accept my scars and I've gone from one extreme to the total opposite where yeah, oh, I just got it out here didn't I yeah. in the studio but I do think it's it's kind of appreciate you're not going to wake up and go oh I like that yeah you probably yeah. won't yeah yeah like all these things it just takes time um girls thank you so much thank you everybody for listening today